Imagine, if you will, a world where defeat is but a figment of imagination, where the very concept of failure dissolves into the ether of unreality. This world, my dear friends, is not a far-off fantasy, but the very reality that awaits you should you choose to embrace the principles I am about to share. For in this grand theater of life, you are both the playwright and the lead actor, crafting your destiny with every thought, every belief, and every action. Let us begin by understanding the fundamental truth that underpins our existence consciousness is the only reality. Everything you perceive, everything you experience, every triumph and every setback originates within the realm of your consciousness. The world you see before you is but a reflection of your inner state, a mirror that faithfully reproduces the images you hold within your mind. Now consider for a moment the implications of this truth. If consciousness is the only reality and your outer world is a reflection of your inner state, then it follows that to act as though no one can defeat you is to make that very state a living. Breathing reality, the key, my friends, lies not in changing the external circumstances, but in revolutionizing your inner world. To act as though no one can defeat you is not an exercise in blind optimism or unfounded bravado. It is instead a profound understanding and application of the law that governs all creation. This law, which I have often referred to as the law of assumption, states that by assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled, you bring about its manifestation in your physical reality. Consider, if you will, a great oak tree before it towers majestically above the forest floor. It exists as a tiny acorn containing within it the blueprint of its future grandeur. In much the same way, the state of being undefeatable exists within you now, waiting to be awakened and expressed. Your task is not to create this state, for it already exists, but to assume it, to wear it as naturally as you wear your own skin. But how, you may ask, does one begin to assume such a state? The answer, my dear friends, lies in the power of imagination. Your imagination is the workshop wherein you forge the template of your future experiences. It is the bridge between the world of concepts and the world of tangible reality. To act as though no one can defeat you, you must first see it, feel it, and experience it within the theater of your mind. Close your eyes for a moment, if you will, and imagine yourself standing tall, unshakable in the face of any challenge. Feel the quiet confidence that permeates your being, the unwavering certainty that no obstacle is insurmountable. See yourself moving through life with grace and ease, undeterred by the doubts and fears that once held you back. This, my friends, is not mere fantasy. It is the first step in making the undefeatable state your own. As you engage in this exercise, you may notice resistance arising within you. Old beliefs, ingrained patterns of thought that whisper of imitation and defeat may attempt to assert themselves. Do not fight these thoughts for what you resist persists. Instead, observe them with detachment, understanding that they are but shadows of a former self, remnants of a consciousness you are now transcending. Remember the state of being undefeatable is your natural birthright. It is not something you need to earn or prove, but something you need only to remember and reclaim. In the infinite sea of consciousness, you are a wave that has forgotten. It is the ocean. Your journey is one of remembrance, of awakening to the truth of your divine nature. Now let us delve deeper into the practical application of this principle. To act as though no one can defeat you requires a fundamental shift in your self-concept. You must begin to see yourself not as a limited, vulnerable being subject to the whims of external forces, but as the very source and substance of all that you experience. This shift in self-concept is not achieved through mere intellectual understanding, though that is certainly a starting point. It is achieved through consistent, deliberate imagination and feeling. You must make a habit of dwelling in the state of the wish fulfilled of living from the end. This means that in your imagination, you live and move and have your being as one who cannot be defeated. Consider the great figures of history who have embodied this principle. Think of Nelson Mandela, who maintained his dignity and resolve through decades of imprisonment, emerging not as a broken man, but as a leader who would transform a nation. Or consider Helen Keller, who refused to be defined by her physical limitations, instead becoming a beacon of inspiration for millions. These individuals did not become undefeatable through external circumstances, but through an unshakable inner conviction. You, my dear friends, possess the same power, the same infinite potential. The only difference lies in your awareness and application of this power. As you begin to act as though no one can defeat you, you will find that life itself begins to conform to this new self-concept. Challenges that once seemed insurmountable will become opportunities for growth and triumph. Obstacles will dissolve before your unwavering belief in your own invincibility. 
But let me be clear, acting as though no one can defeat you does not mean that you will never face difficulties or setbacks. The storms of life will still come. The winds of adversity will still blow. The difference lies in how you perceive and respond to these challenges. When you know deep in the core of your being that you cannot be defeated, you approach every situation with a calm assurance, a quiet confidence that transcends circumstance. Imagine, if you will, a mighty mountain. The winds may howl, the rains may lash against its slopes, but the mountain remains unmoved, unshaken. It does not resist the storm, nor does it fear it. It simply is in all its majesty and strength. This, my friends, is how you must learn to be. Rooted in the unshakable knowledge of your own invincibility, you become like that mountain steady, strong, and ultimately undefeatable. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Neville, I have experienced defeat in the past. How can I possibly act as though no one can defeat me when my own experiences seem to contradict this? To you, I say this, your past does not define your future unless you allow it to do so. Your previous experiences of defeat were simply outpicturing of your consciousness at that time. As you shift your consciousness, as you begin to embody the state of being undefeated, you will find that your experiences naturally lie in line with this new state. Remember, time is a construct of consciousness. The past, present, and future exist simultaneously in the eternal now. By choosing to act as though no one can defeat you in this moment, you are not denying your past experiences, but transcending them. You are choosing to align yourself with a higher truth, a greater reality that has always existed within you. Let us now explore the practical steps you can take to embody this state of invincibility. The first and most crucial step is to watch your mental diet. Just as you are careful about what you put into your physical body, you must be vigilant about what you allow into your mind. The thoughts you entertain, the conversations you engage in, the media you consume, all of these contribute to your mental state and by extension to your experience of reality. Begin by consciously eliminating any thoughts or beliefs that contradict the state of being undefeatable. When you catch yourself thinking, I can't do this, or this is too difficult for me gently, but firmly replace these thoughts with affirmations of your invincibility. Say to yourself, I am more than equal to this challenge, or there is no obstacle I cannot overcome. Next, immerse yourself in the feeling of being undefeatable. This is not about puffing yourself up with false bravado, but about tapping into the quiet confidence that comes from knowing your true nature. Feel the strength that courses through you, the unwavering certainty that you are the master of your fate. Let this feeling permeate every cell of your being until it becomes your natural state. As you go about your daily life, begin to act from this state of invincibility. When faced with a challenge, ask yourself, how would I approach this if I knew, without a shadow of a doubt, that I could not be defeated? Then act accordingly. You will be amazed at how this simple shift in perspective can transform your experiences. Remember, my dear friends, that your outer world will always conform to your inner assumptions. As you consistently act as though no one can defeat you, you will find that your experiences begin to reflect this belief. Opportunities will arise where once there seem to be only obstacles. People will respond to you differently, sensing the quiet power that emanates from you. But let me caution you, this is not about dominating others or proving your superiority. True invincibility comes from a place of inner peace and self-assurance not from the need to prove yourself to others. When you truly embody the state of being undefeatable, you will find that you have no need to compete or compare yourself to others. You are simply secure in your own power, focused on your own journey. Now, let us address a question that may be arising in your minds. Those acting as though no one can defeat me mean that I will never experience failure or setbacks. The answer, my friends, is both yes and no. Yes, in the sense that when you truly embody this state, what others might perceive as failures or setbacks become. For you merely stepping stones on the path to your ultimate triumph and know in the sense that you may still face challenges and temporary setbacks, but your response to these experiences will be fundamentally different. You see, when you act as though no one can defeat you, you develop a resilience that is unshakable. Setbacks become opportunities for growth. Failures become lessons that propel you forward. You understand at the deepest level that true defeat only occurs when you accept it as your reality. As long as you maintain your inner conviction, as long as you continue to act from the state of being undefeatable, no external circumstance can truly defeat you. Consider, if you will, the life of Thomas Edison. In his quest to invent the light bulb, he experienced what many would consider failures, thousands of attempts that did not produce the desired result. But Edison famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. This, my friends, is a mindset of one who acts as though they cannot be defeated. Each apparent setback is simply another step on the path to ultimate success. 
As you embark on this journey of acting as though no one can defeat you, you may find that your relationships with others begin to change. People are naturally drawn to those who exude confidence and self-assurance. You may find that others begin to look to you for leadership, inspired by your unwavering belief in yourself and your abilities. But remember, true invincibility is not about becoming untouchable or disconnected from others. On the contrary, as you become more secure in your own power, you will likely find that you become more compassionate, more understanding of others. You will have no need to prove yourself or to put others down to feel strong. Your strength will come from within, allowing you to lift others up without fear of diminishing yourself. Now let us delve deeper into the spiritual implications of acting as though no one can defeat you. At its core, this state of being is a recognition of your true nature as a divine, infinite being. When you act from this place of invincibility, you are aligning yourself with the creative power of the universe itself. In the scriptures, we find the profound statement, I and my father are one. This, my dear friends, is the ultimate truth behind the state of being undefeatable. When you recognize your oneness with the divine, with the creative power that sustains all of existence, how can you be defeated? It is impossible, for you are one with the very source of all power, all wisdom, all possibility. As you cultivate this awareness, as you live from this truth, you will find that your entire perception of life begins to shift. Challenges that once seemed daunting will become opportunities for you to express your divine nature. You will move through life with the grace and ease that comes from knowing that you are supported by the infinite power of the universe itself. But let me be clear, this state of invincibility is not about becoming passive or detached from the world around you. On the contrary, it is about engaging with life more fully, more authentically than ever before. When you know that you cannot be defeated, you are free to take risks, to pursue your dreams with passion and determination. You are free to love more deeply, to give more generously, to live more fully. Imagine, if you will, living each day from this place of absolute certainty in your own invincibility. How would you approach your work? How would you interact with your loved ones? How would you pursue your dreams and aspirations? The possibilities are limitless when you remove the constraints of fear and self-doubt. Now, some of you may be wondering, wondering, but Neville, how do I maintain this state of invincibility in the face of apparent failures or setbacks? This, my friends, is where the true test of your understanding and application of this principle comes into play. It is easy to feel invincible when everything is going your way. The real challenge and the real opportunity for growth comes when you face adversity. In these moments, you must double down on your commitment to acting as though no one can defeat you. Remember, your outer circumstances are simply a reflection of your inner state. If you allow external events to shake your conviction, you are giving your power away to the very things you seek to overcome. Instead, when faced with challenges, reaffirm your invincibility. Say to yourself, this situation has no power to defeat me. I am the master of my fate, the captain of my soul. Then, from this place of inner strength, look for the opportunity within the challenge. Ask yourself, how can I use this situation to demonstrate my invincibility? What lesson is here for me to learn? As you consistently apply this principle, you will find that your resilience grows stronger with each challenge you face. You will develop an unshakable faith in your ability to overcome any obstacle, to triumph in any situation. This faith, my dear friends, is the key to living a truly invincible life. But let us not forget that acting as though no one can defeat you is not just about personal triumph. It is about becoming a beacon of hope and inspiration for others. As you embody this state of invincibility, you demonstrate to the world what is possible when one aligns themselves with the truth of their divine nature. Think of the great leaders and visionaries throughout history who have changed the world through their unwavering belief in their mission. Martin Luther King Jr., Mahatma Gandhi, Marie Curie, these individuals faced enormous obstacles and opposition, yet they persevered, acting as though defeat was not an option. In doing so, they not only achieved their own goals, but inspired millions to reach for greatness. You, my dear friends, have the same potential within you. As you learn to act as though no one can defeat you, you become a living example of what is possible. Your life becomes a testament to the power of belief, the power of aligning oneself with the creative force of the universe. Now let us address a common misconception about invincibility. Some may think that to be invincible means to never experience doubt, fear, or uncertainty. This is not the case. Even the most enlightened beings experience moments of human vulnerability. The difference lies in how you respond to these feelings. When doubt or fear arise, and they will, for they are part of the human experience, do not fight against them. 
or berate yourself for experiencing them. Instead, observe these feelings with compassion and understanding. Say to yourself, I acknowledge these feelings, but I choose not to be defined by them. I am greater than my fears, more powerful than my doubts. In this way, you transform even your moments of vulnerability into opportunities to reaffirm your invincibility. You demonstrate to yourself again and again that no internal or external force has the power to defeat you unless you granted that power. As we near the conclusion of our discourse, I want to emphasize a crucial point acting as though no one can defeat you is not a one time decision, but a moment by moment choice. It is a way of life, a constant affirmation of your true nature as a divine, infinite being. Each day you will be presented with opportunities to choose invincibility. In your interactions with others, in your approach to your work, in your response to life's challenges, in each of these moments, you have the power to act from a place of unshakable strength and confidence. Make it a practice to start each day by affirming your invincibility. Before you rise from your bed, Take a few moments to feel the truth of your undefeatable nature. See yourself moving through your day with grace and ease, triumphant in the face of any challenge. Then carry this feeling with you as you go about your day, letting it inform every action, every decision. As you consistently choose to act as though no one can defeat you, you will find that this state becomes more and more natural to you. What once required conscious effort will become your default way of being. You will find yourself naturally approaching life from a place of quiet confidence and inner strength. But remember, my dear friends, that true invincibility is not about becoming hard or impenetrable. It is about becoming so secure in your own power that you can remain open, vulnerable and compassionate. It is about having the strength to be gentle, the courage to be kind, the confidence to be humble. As you embody this state of invincibility, you will find that your entire life transforms. Relationships become more fulfilling as you interact with others from a place of inner security rather than need or fear. Your work becomes more satisfying as you approach each task with confidence and creativity. Your personal growth accelerates as you fearlessly embrace new challenges and opportunities. Moreover, you will find that your invincibility becomes a blessing not just for you, but for all those whose lives you touch. Your unwavering belief in yourself will inspire others to recognize their own innate power. Your ability to triumph over challenges will give hope to those who are struggling. Your life will become a living testament to the limitless potential that resides within each human being. In closing, I urge you, my dear friends, to embrace this truth with all your heart and soul. Learn to act as though no one can defeat you, not as a mere motivational technique, but as a recognition of your true nature. Let every thought, every word, every action spring from this place of invincibility. Remember, you are not a limited, vulnerable being subject to the whims of fate. You are a divine, infinite being, one with the creative power of the universe itself. As you align yourself with this truth, as you learn to live from this state of invincibility, you will find that life itself bends to your will, that the entire universe conspires to support your dreams and aspirations. Go forth then and live as the invincible being you truly are. Face each day with courage and confidence knowing that within you lies the power to overcome any obstacle, to achieve any goal, to realize any dream. Act as though no one can defeat you, and you will find that, indeed, no one can. Thank you, my dear friends, for your attention and your willingness to embrace this transformative truth. May you go forth from this place forever changed, forever empowered, forever invincible. The power is within you. The choice is yours. Act now and watch as your world transforms before your very eyes.